Okay, my mate Gallus here, and this is the Acer uh, that we did the last video about, and we're in the BIOS. Yeah, inside H20 BIOS, and I pressed F2, F2 as you boot up, and it takes us into the BIOS. And it, now. it did it quite quickly, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So now we're just going to have a, a, a look to see what's greyed out, what's available to change. And I'll have a little. Uh... You're disabling that network boot, are you? Yeah. As I say, this is a new modern buyer, so some of it is uh, doesn't mean a lot to me. But let's see. Yeah. So I might be cutting bits out of this yeah, video. Yeah, of course. We're we're when we're just experimenting, yeah. what's this VTX and everything there? I think it's sort of like. Uh, don't quote me as this hand, but I think it's to do with like if you're creating a virtual machine oh, right. uh, or a containerized machine, anything that, vir you know, V to me virtual. Is, is virtual. Right, we're in security now, so we should be able to do a password somewhere. So we're starting to see that there are certain options that are disabled. And that's the only two around. options that you can get to in this. Gotcha, right. So. TPM is the new sort of hardware requirement for, for Windows 11. Right. But the one that we're particularly interested in is that secure boot mode. Yes. Um, so, so we need we, to, be able we to think that, that, that set the entering, supervisor. Yeah, yeah. The entering a, a supervisor password might um, allow us to get into advanced settings. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't That's there? That's right, yeah. I so, think it's F5 to change. So, all right. Let's just put one, 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 one. So I was just editing that bit of footage and realised we weren't showing you how to change. Really, we were just showing it was happening. So I've just come back into the BIOS and it's asked for the password to go into it. Okay, and now we're on the security page. And as you can see, set supervisor password enabled, and I think it's F5. Enter old password. Yeah, so you put the old password in, or there is no password, and you put the password in and go save. Okay, yeah, we'll leave it at that. I'm assuming it's four. Save, okay. So it's now requiring us to save and exit, or exit and save rather. It says, see, hang on, go back one, on the boot, except it won't, will it? Can we only go one way? Right? Okay, so look, boot, now it says secure boot enabled, we can go secure boot enabled. No, we can't. Go up one. No, we can't. There. F oh yeah, you've got it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm spotted Andy. Okay. So we've got the secure, secure boot now disabled. Well, uh, let's Seemingly. see. Yeah. Save the configuration. Now, hang on a minute. Let's put a uh, a data stick in there. And Gauss Payne, where well, you F12. F12 to get boot options. Yeah. There we go. So we're going down to the, there, and now we want to move up one, which is F5, I think. To to shift it. To shift to it. Enter to select it, right, so. Okay. Oh, there you go. Well, let's see. Well, it it showed win. It showed um, Linux then, there didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that difficult. Apparently, hey? apparently so. So thank you very much to all the contributors on the last video and thank you to Gareth for actually having the faith to just do it. <laughs> and let's get a pencil and just mark the, the uh, supervisor password in the top left hand corner in pencil. Yeah, brilliant. Shall I do install Andy? Uh, yes please. Oh, shall we have it? Shall we have a look? See what's on the Windows 11 first. You can do, yeah. Yeah, yeah because if you put, win if you're running off a data stick, you can see what the old program was before we install. But 
this is the end of the video very quick and nice any comments love to hear from them and thank you for Gareth for just pressing the buttons having the faith to do it cheers for now